Well, as long as we're talking about new payment systems, we have good news for blockchain lovers out there. Digital currency exchange Coinbase is now adding the trading of Ethers to its platform. Ethers are the native cryptocurrency of the Ethereum network. Dan, you're working on a story about this. Ethers are actually very different from Bitcoin. So how exactly does this all work? Well, it's funny. I mean, even a New York Times story on Ethereum recently said, even the people who worked on Ethereum have trouble describing it in plain English. I mean, it's like as more of these cryptocurrencies come along, it's sort of harder and harder to explain to lay people, which I think is kind of a problem if they want it to go mainstream. But Ethereum uh, was created by Vitalik Buterin. He's 19 years old. Crazy, brilliant, genius, wonderkind. And the reason there's so much excitement around it is that it's a separate blockchain, similar to the Bitcoin blockchain, but better for smart contracts and more secure for transactions in that way. So it's not just the kind of thing you would buy as a speculative investment the way that, you know, if you had bought Bitcoin a year ago, you would have made some money by now. It's up hovering around $650. But it's something that they're excited about for what the technology can lead to. And that is we have an agreement, we have a smart contract, and a certain number of Ether represents that contract and it's stored on the Ethereum chain. So what does it mean that it's getting added to Coinbase? Well, so Coinbase uh, really was the first uh, mainstream Bitcoin app and, and service, been around three years, and it's sort of the best uh, on-ramp to the Bitcoin world for a layperson. You've heard about Bitcoin, you might want to buy some. Coinbase is kind of the most straightforward, quick, easy way to pull up your phone and buy some. You, you buy some Bitcoin and then you just leave it, don't touch it. Now for Coinbase to bring on Ether, it's kind of the first sign of Ether going mainstream and Ether following in the footsteps of Bitcoin. It's still much smaller. Uh, Ether has a $1 billion market cap, Bitcoin $10 billion. But I think we're seeing that there's room in this cryptocurrency explosion for more than one popular digital currency, Bitcoin, and now also Ether. And next, who knows, there's also Ripple, Litecoin, and I think we'll see more come along. I, on behalf of all the normal people in the world, <laughs> I have to say, I have no idea what you're talking about, and I don't know why I should care either. Okay, I get it. Uh, uh, blockchain technology is important. These are potential new payment systems right. in the future. Corporations are interested in them because maybe they can save some money on mm -hmm. transactions. Uh, your point about this being so complicated that even the people who are doing it don't yeah. completely understand it tells me I see no way this will ever catch on in any kind of mainstream way when it's so difficult. So you to don't understand. see this revolutionizing the way we do business? I, uh, becoming sort of our mainstream currency. I mean, you know, sort of the bit. Bitcoin fanboys talk about this mm. replacing replacing paper currency. Yeah, it never happened. Uh, I mean, it's just impossible to say. I mean, right now it feels like a plaything for technologists. Um, my question is, will it ever become more than that? And you said, yeah, if you invested in Bitcoin a year ago, you would have made money. I think if you invest, invested in Bitcoin two years ago, you would have lost money because of some of the problems, thefts, shutting down of the exchanges. And nobody, uh, nobody understands this except for like seven people in the world. So here's the retort to all that. Okay. What they say is, it's like the early days of the internet. It's like email and HTTP. You don't need to understand it to use it and benefit from it. You know, no one understands how email works. They just know, they send an email, they push send, whoosh, it sends. Bitcoin, similarly, can be the underlying technology for a lot of different decentralized applications. And the same is maybe true with Ethereum. You could end up using a service where it runs on the Bitcoin blockchain, and you don't know, and you don't have to worry about the blockchain. I'm not a Neanderthal. Uh, I love new technology, but I think the difference is that uh, you don't lose money on email. You don't lose money if you try a new app that you don't understand. You don't. There's no money at stake if you don't understand the technology, and there's money at stake. Well, here. a lot of smart money is actually on the blockchain as the idea overall. Right. Banking so especially. But banking we'll see, and what it, masters. We'll see if it pans Warren out. Warren Buffett says, yeah. only invest in what you understand, and, I'm, and we've already seen people who are getting into this, they don't understand it, and they lose money. All right, well, as long as we're on this future. And, and the other people making money off of them.